The Victor Sassoon Heart Foundation is appealing to the public for help in raising funds to assist children who need heart surgery. The foundation foots its medical bills, but executives say the organization is in a financial crisis due to the rising number of children seeking help. Here's Fern Carey. Thus, the Victor Sassoon Heart Foundation has been coming to the aid of children suffering from heart disease for over 50 years, and executives fear that for the first time in their history, they may be forced to turn children away due to budget constraints. We've never had the numbers that we've had this year. Normally in a year we do 10 to 12 surgeries on children who have these problems. This year we are already over that number, and we're only... Our, our fiscal year runs from uh, the end of June till the 1st of July, so uh, we you know, are, are in the middle of our year really now still, and we still have several months to go, and we've already spent our budget for the year. Meantime, Barnes says hard patients who do not get surgery will not be able to lead normal lives. They might live into their teens or 20s or some of them a bit longer, but they don't develop normally, and they struggle because they, the blood flow through their bodies isn't carrying the oxygen through that helps your brain work properly and you can't go out and play like you'd want to you, you know I, the the stories of seeing these children come back now and seeing them healthy and running around and being like children it's it's the most rewarding thing you can imagine and with heart surgeries costing up to sixty thousand dollars per patient Barnes made this appeal if you can just give us a dollar have your children, you know, one, one child, say you're a family of five, send us five dollars. You know, I mean, that will help. Anything will help. Now, if you wish to make a donation to the Savicta Sassoon Heart Foundation, you can call or stop by their office on Cable Beach. Currently, children from infant to teenagers are battling heart disease in the Bahamas, and many of them are said to be in urgent need of further medical care. Fern Carey, ZNS News. Welcome to tonight's edition of The Business Beat, sponsored by Royal Fidelity. Good evening, Bahamas. I'm Altaviz Munnings. Let's take a look at what's making business news today. Trans Island Traders Executive Mark Finlayson telling the local daily that the company is negotiating with two separate international groups over the purchase of a majority stake in the City Market's food store chain. City Market's weekend blowout sale is designed to clear all existing inventory. Bahama officials finalizing the design of its convention center. Resort officials told the local daily that the design and physical works behind the 2,000-square-foot convention center should be serving as a recruitment and training center. From the International Business Beat, the world's largest package delivery firm, United Parcel Service, UPS, has agreed to buy rival company TNT in a 5.2 billion euro, $6.8 billion deal. The takeover is being seen as a move by UPS to expand its business in Europe. And a regional business, the Inter-American Development Bank is ramping up lending for private sector projects related to renewable energy and energy efficiency to help bridge the gap for long-term financing for green investments in Latin America and the Caribbean. Last year alone, the IDB approved $736 million in financing for private sector environmentally friendly projects. Remember, you can send us an email or join us on www.znsbahamas.com or become our friend on ZNS's official Facebook page. And that will end tonight's edition of The Business Beat, sponsored by Royal Fidelity. I'm Altaviz Munnings. Thanks so much for watching.